take much time. I think uh, uh, a lot has been said about our capabilities and what we do. Uh, very quickly, uh, everybody knows SBI, and I don't want to talk about SBI, but Amundi, our joint venture partner, is uh, a 37 percent owner in this asset management company. They are world leader in asset management, especially in pension and retirement benefits. They are one of the largest in Europe. Uh, they are about a trillion dollar asset management company. It's not small, it's huge. It's almost like two thirds or two, half of India's uh, GDP is managed by uh, a large asset management company like uh, Amundi. Uh, they are also, uh, you know, big in uh, Europe and uh, all over the world, and they are the 10th largest asset management uh, company in the world. Just a quick glance about what we've been doing as SBI Mutual Fund. This is now the 29th year of operation for SBI Mutual Fund. Over the years, since 1987, we've, we've launched various initiatives, but I'll just focus on where we are today. We are one lakh 60,000 crores in assets in pure mutual fund, another 30 odd thousand crores that we manage out of our advisory portfolio management, uh, international assets that we manage. Uh, what was significant here is the 2015 uh, initiative where the EPF awarded us the mandate to manage. And uh, while we had our ETFs before that too, uh, the entire collective uh, investment opportunity that we got here now has taken our ETF business to over 20,000 crores, and I think that's a phenomenal achievement in a very, very short spirit, uh, span of time. I'm sure this wouldn't have happened uh, without the support of a uh, community like you. We have over 800 odd, uh, you know, uh, problem fund trusts who invest with us on active side, passive side, and on the active side alone, you know, while the passive is now very, very big, it's 20,000 crores, even the active side is now close to about uh, 5,000 crores from the exempt uh, trust uh, category. Uh, Vidul talked a lot about uh, our being the first asset management company to uh, adopt the CFA code of conduct. I think we strongly believe that that's a very important uh, requirement for us to run this business and we strongly hold uh, to that. We also uh, in 2000, uh, you know, uh, 16 or 17, Namit talked about all the awards that we have won. We were ranked uh, the best asset manager in Asia for uh, by Asian investors uh, last year, this year. Outlook ranked us as the best equity asset manager, the runner-up in fixed income, and the overall best asset management company in the company in India. But what I'm here to talk about is very quick, and I'm sure through our interactions, you've already have heard about some of our product range that are there. But just to put it in a perspective, we are we are a very large fund house. We run a lot of strategies, but the ones which are relevant is actually color coded here. The category one, which you can invest in short term GSEC and long term GSEC funds with us. We have category two, where you can invest in our income, dynamic uh, income funds. And on category three, which is our liquid category, where you can invest in our short term savings fund, which are like SPLF and Insta Cash. But on the active equity side, we have Magnum Equity, Blue Chip, and of course, Balance Fund, which is actually missing from this slide, is three category that we can make. And Namit talked about the whole range of services that we offer. And today, maybe there is a regulatory requirement for you to limit yourself to the top 100 uh, odd companies. But as it opens up and you will have more opportunities to move towards multi-cap, mid-cap, sectoral funds, we have all the range available for you to look at. Uh, on the indexing solution, of course, we are market leaders. We have both our index fund, which is one of the oldest funds that we manage, the Nifty index fund. We also have the ETF. Nifty ETF, which is the largest ETF in the country today, and also the Sensex ETF. Uh, we have the 10-year GSEC for those who are investing directly in GSEC and you can't afford to buy through that SGL uh, requirement. You actually can buy a 10-year GSEC. I think many of them, while I think active, you are, you can always buy an active fund of ours in GSEC, but you can also buy a 10-year GSEC on the ETF uh, market. And this is one of the few funds in the country which have, offers a full replication of a 10-year uh, GSEC portfolio. For both tactical and strategic allocation, you can look at that. But what is really important is that we are now planning for the category five, where uh, we've already set up our alternative investment uh, funds. And sure, as uh, markets mature and more of you start understanding what is possible, we will we'll be offering category five products also to you, which is your real estate, you know, REITs and in inbits in and uh, and smart beta. Now, we talked about is also something that will come very soon from the fund house. Couple of things that we do, um, and I think uh, this is something that our joint venture partners are very good at. Uh, Namit uh, quickly touched upon it. The complexity of managing a provident fund today, uh, or exempt trust today, is that 
you have regulations to manage, you have collections to do, you have the whole host of you know making sure what calls to take, when to take, managing liquidity. For some of the smaller setups who really cannot do the end-to-end -end, uh, part of it, we have some few trusts who we kind of do end-to-end. -end. At one for one trust, we do complete advisory. We'll say, okay, we can do all of this stuff. What you have now, five to fifteen percent allocation. What do you do between five to fifteen percent? What's the right allocation to do? So some of these advisory services that we are doing for to few clients. In fact, one client we do fully, and so one client we do uh, advisory and very large scale. We also manage uh, for our um, uh, postal life insurance. Their end-to-end -end mandate mandate for their uh, investment allocation. They also have an equity allocation and fixed income allocation. They also have some kind of a minimum requirement for uh, returns on their portfolio. So you know it's getting complex, and I'm saying. Some of you are big CIOs here, as big as some of the funds that we manage, but some of you are really sitting and thinking, what do I do? It's a quite a complicated world. I'd like to see how this can be done, if I can outsource the piece of investment management to somebody, and if they can do it for us, and we have some of the solutions, and we are actually planning to add some of the solutions, and I've actually put out three uh, buckets where we can, uh, constraints and needs are the first part of it, and it's just possible only by looking at the portfolio currently that's there and the need that's there. Defining a tailor-made investment solution is something that we've already done for some of our clients. And lastly, of course, optimizing. That's the biggest thing. The big debate about when to get in, when to get out, how much should be the exposure, when to take dividend out. Some of these headaches can be outsourced as much as possible. And some of these headaches are good to have if you are a, one of the fund managers like Ma'am is here, who would like to do that uh, internally and prove that they can perform. But there are people who would not want to do that. And I think people who do not want to do that, we would like to, you know, come in and have a discussion with you and see what we can do there. So Namneet already talked about how we can do that because we've already built the whole solution architecture internally. We have investment management team, macro search team, dealing team, fixed income team, credit team, back office, and all are backed by our risk management, product development, operations, and the whole client servicing architecture, which is available today to mutual fund, portfolio management, alternative investments, and put the services that we already offer, we can definitely extend it to some of the players. I'm not saying everybody we would like to work with. We would like to work with some of the players who are finding it difficult uh, to manage their portfolio. And of course, lastly, I think what really it envisages for people who would like to look at it is the is this pool of stuff, you know, from a strategic planning to all the way to over oversight in, in an update. You know, it's a very busy slide, and I uh, don't want, I don't think most of you would be able to read it. But the point is that at, at different points of time, different value additions are required. There are people who will say, I would like to have full say over how this is managed you know, day and day. There'll be people who will say, you know, I really don't care as long as you're generating bank return plus this or EPFO plus return plus this. In all kinds of requirements will be there. I think there are opportunity for us to actually sit and discuss this in a little bit of a detail. And this, of course, requires a lot of technology integration and couple of things. And lastly, I'll just leave it with the slide our MD talked this today uh, in the morning is about developing this community. I'm very happy to see some of the PSUs are getting together and creating this uh, community for advocacy of uh, with EPFO. But I think there is something bigger than that, which is about sharing information, sharing concerns, monitoring portfolio. We thought let's give our tech tool out there, the website which can do some of these things. So we are already on the way of working on this website very soon. We'd like to come out with this website where you can share information, talk to portfolio manager, have information shared across to your own team members, and more importantly, benchmark your return versus indexes and different indices. So you have an opportunity to put all of this in one single interface, and obviously this will be available free of cost for everybody who uh, you know who want to use these services. And we have your email IDs for people who've come. When the portfolio goes live, we'll inform you. Some of you would like to work on a beta basis, and you know. On when, when the website is, uh, you know, midway operational. Uh, so this, I think, is a very important tool for sharing. Uh, we would like to see how this tool goes in our next meeting when we meet up. Uh, Navneet says Mahakum, and it looks like Mahakum here. The next Mahakum of uh, Exempt Trust meeting that we have, hopefully these tools will be available, and we'll be able to discuss how these tools will help you. Thank you very much for your time and your patience.